Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kudash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit. And peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And I'm here with a quick video. It'll be more like a quick hit. And I have two verses to go into. 2 Timothy 1 and 8 and 9. And we're going to get straight into it. And the main uh, scripture that I really want to focus on is, is uh, 2 Timothy 1 and 9. But I'm going to start at the 8th verse. It says, Be be not thou, this is your, uh, uh, the words of Paul, you know, in, in the form of an epistle written to uh, Timothy. In Romans 15 and 4, you know, I quoted a lot. And we all over here, Great Millstone, uh, we quote that a lot, okay? Uh, the things that were written before time were written for our uh, learning, you know. Um, I can't think of the rest rest of the part of the uh the verse so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and put it up but that's the part that i'm you know that i'm emphasizing on romans 15 and 4 just read it emphasizing on for the purpose of all the scriptures that get brought out it says, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. But the point being, we we supposed to learn from all the all the scriptures. Let's go back to the second Timothy one and eight. It says, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. Yeah, because you have <clears throat> that situation where you have certain men that will believe in what they heard, but they uh, may be ashamed to go out and be seen uh, confessing or professing this truth. You know, when we first, I, I, I speak on myself, I remember when I first went out there, yeah, I looked around and I was like, damn, I was... Uh, I was a little nervous because, you know, I didn't know who would see me out there. And I'm sure it's, you know, a lot of brothers went through that. You know, you go out there for the first time, you're like, damn, I don't know. I might see somebody I know. You might see um, your boss from your job. You know, you might. <laughs> one In one case, I seen um, a couple of females, you know, that I them good looking females that I knew, you know, and I uh, seen them out there and I was like, damn, I kinda seen them and I was like, oh shit, you know. But the spirit was uh the spirit was on me as well as all the men that may have went through that, you know, and um uh, overpowered those emotions and said, Man, I don't give a fuck about these people. Ultimately I don't give a fuck about these people who seeing me out here, you know, I'm I'm going to do what the Lord said do, you know, being convicted to go out and, and teach his word. Okay. It says, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. It's Paul. And we can say that for uh, our apostles and elders. You know, I'm not ashamed to say I'm following the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. You know, because we are confident that, you know, we've been taught the correct doctrine. If not, where and, and who are the, the men that's teaching the 100% the truth? Because nobody's saying that except the apostles and elders on down that we, we got a 100% truth. You know, reading on, it says, but thou... I'm sorry, but be thou partakers of the affliction, afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? Because being in this, we find out that being in this faith, part of it is, part of it is that we supposed to catch hell, go through trials and tribulations, okay? Um, 
Acts 14, 22, that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Okay? Now, this is the, the main scripture I wanted to key in on. Even though, of course, the previous verse is a beautiful verse. It says, who had saved us and called us with an holy calling. Yeah, Yahweh gave Yahweh shot a charge to to uh, call the men that were predestined from the foundation of the world to uh, get this truth. And then some of those men that are called into this uh, faith, into the ministry, are going to endure unto the end. They were or they were chosen, okay, to endure unto the end. Okay, it says not according to our works. So we wasn't called into this um, ministry, into this knowledge because of the works that we were doing on this planet. You know, because what were we, what were we doing? You know, we, were, <laughs> we weren't doing nothing that was about pushing this word, though we may have been seeking the truth. You know, we wasn't, uh, we didn't do things, works worthy of being called. Like the most high said, so, okay, I see what these different men are doing down on the planet earth. Okay, I'm going to call them into the ministry. They fit for the ministry based upon particular works that we were doing. Because really, we, our works were geared towards uh, wickedness, you know. So it definitely wasn't according to our our works. So it was a it was a, a holy calling. Let's look up what they got for the word holy real quick. The calling is when we heard this word and we believed and made the conscious decision to stop doing what we was doing in this world and follow the scriptures and we took it you know we uh through the spirit you know we took it upon ourselves through of course by the persuasion of Yahweh by shimmy i was shy to start studying and getting built up and had the desire to teach it says uh for the word holy g40 Strong's G40, Hagias, Hagias, Hagias. It says, most holy thing, a saint. And it also says in the Strong's definitions, pure, morally blameless, or religious, ceremonially uh, consecrated, most holy one thing saint so yeah this was a uh a pure calling this was a calling from the from the spirit world calling from the most high in his son or through his son all right that's how it was a a pure calling Back, back in the verse, it says, But according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Mashiach Yahweh Shai before the world began. And I could have just kept reading instead of running my mouth, Salakia. But right, this was all predestined before, um, before the foundation of the, or before the world began, or the foundation of the world was set. It was already uh, known by the Most High and uh, Yahweh Shai who he was going to wake up to this knowledge in the last days, you know, and or who was going to be called because waking up to this knowledge, you called. That's the calling. It's also it also can be uh, chosen. One chosen to uh, get this knowledge and understanding but not chosen until we'll find out who the chosen is at the end, you know? 
The scriptures say many are called, but few are chosen. Okay, but we were chosen to receive this truth. But the only ones that are that are going to uh, endure on to the end and be chosen for salvation are the elect of the Most High. So we're waiting to see. So we have a good idea. The men that are professing this word, studying, getting their, their lives in order with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, have a good chance to make it up out of here. A very high chance. All right? But the point of all this is that, you know, we wasn't chosen to come into this to this knowledge based upon our works. This was set from the beginning of the, uh, before the world began. All right? By, for the, for the, what does it say? For the, uh, the most highest own purpose and his grace. You see? So that's it. You know, Lord willing, this video was edifying and exhorting onto the spirit. Hey, you know, we should feel very uh, privileged and thankful since, you know, really, I mean, in the eyes of the most high, we worthy, but we wasn't doing things worthy on this earth to be called into this um, knowledge. But the most high already had it set up from the beginning. So we're in a very uh, privileged uh, position, you know. Once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.